Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Creatus has joined us. Look what I see across the water there. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Oh, is that a little collectible? Uh-huh. That's some money. We need money. Oh, don't forget to join my farm, and then I'll make you a uh, a collaborator. I already go? am, I guess. I see you down in the water. 19 more to go. We found an owl. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody, uh, that's probably a deadfall, huh? What you... <laughs> do we actually, do we actually swim in this? Yeah, or you're does swimming. It... No, you're swimming. Yeah. Here, you get in. I want to see. You're, fa <laughs> you're swimming with your face in the water, but. Okay, now oh, which way am I, which way is my head looking? Am I looking into the water? Yeah, you keep like ducking your head down and pulling it up. And there's no way you're getting out enough to breathe. <laughs> Well, that felt good. <laughs> All right, follow me. Come on down to the... Oh, you already are. <laughs> Man, you move quick. All right. Um, so this is our little homestead. You should be familiar with it because I pretty much only changed a couple things. And I've started to cut and stuff a little bit. Um, I had, I, But I oh, filled hey, up a trailer. Oh, hey, things keep appearing. Oh, is I it slow? You have, I guess you have some logs hanging around. Yeah, there's a <laughs> log right there. <laughs> there's two logs right there. That's about it, though. Is stuff still popping in for you? Yeah, here and there. Oh, weird. Oh, did you know you can cut these uh, trees over here? No, not oh, these. I'm not allowed to cut this tree. What? Oh, you need to give me authority on the farm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if you had to. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, players. I want to make you a prom farm manager. Okay. Yeah. Can they just will so, they just go or? Yeah, but you have to like you have to find the the sweet spot. Can there you use is. a stump? Oh, can you use a stump grinder? Uh, I mean, you can use a. Because uh, I have like one. the mulcher. I. But I, I have the grinder for this thing, but not the mulcher. Oh, but like, I just cut them and they just disappear okay but i found that having the saw at about you know 45 degrees is the best okay and then they just pop out of existence we'll get rid of them we can start clearing that i actually was thinking about maybe putting some dirt flooring down there and making it more of a like as we move along obviously we can you know keep moving down to the hillside and then we'll start using the yarder to pull the, the logs up Well, do, do you have the standard, uh, like, the beginning property? Yes. And I think I, I might have bought one more. Let me take a look real quick at the map. Because you know what you can do? What's that? Start at the bottom, work your way up. Start right next to the, uh, to the shop. Oh, yeah. And you just you start clear-cutting where it's all completely flat, and then it's just nothing but hillside, and you can... It, it gets so much easier and faster that way. All right, if you want to. I mean, I've already started up here. Why don't we finish clearing off this clearing up here? All right. And then we'll and then we'll we'll proceed down and start down there. Uh, I own, yeah, I own 36, 32, and 33, which I think is just what they give you base game, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to... And then we should get a container for all these, like, little worthless trees that are here well right now i only have one tipper but what i do have for tr for that stuff is this see this tipper over here we can throw uh, that stuff in here see that that's the worthless tipper <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and start clearing that um this area with the mulcher or the the stump grinder and uh, then we can we'll we'll move on to the next like segment. But we could put some, like I said. So you don't think we should put dirt down here and pull the trees up? I mean, I guess you can. Oh, man, see, this is why I hate these trees, and that's why they deserve to go straight into a container because it just makes all this mess go away. Oh, the branches and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, because these things are just a spiny mess, but if you shove them into a container, all this goes away. Oh. Well, I mean, if you want to use this container as a scrap container, we can always grab another one. I just don't really have any way to get it off the trailer. We'd have to bring the forklift up here. The uh, container truck up here. I would just push it off with the skid steer. Ah, uh, but how do we get it back on? Can we mulch uh, we, these bushes or no? I don't think so. You can mulch them. I don't, but I, I mean with the cutter. I don't think we can do it with the cutter. You can mulch them with the mulcher for sure. Have you seen the mulcher at work yet? Yeah. It just cuts everything down. It turns it into um, cultivated oh, soil. Yeah. But I think when I put the pavement down, it should get rid of those. Three seconds. That's what it's supposed to take. Three seconds of just being on the stump. If it takes longer, then you're not on it. Still what there. the? It's going to cut twice. It's going to cut it down to a certain height, and then it's going to yeah, and then go again. again. It's not, uh... There it is. Do, now, do you like... They added in the, uh... That, like, the, you can rotate back and forth just by holding the joystick left and right? Yeah, that's... With with the uh, tracked uh, vehicles, that's, like, my favorite thing. Yeah, and they didn't have it before, so it's nice to have it now. I just keep forgetting that I have it, and I, I don't press it, but then it's like... This one's probably a double... Look around and see if you see any other. I see two or three more stumps. Let me know if I'm missing any, because I don't. Obviously, I don't see them all sometimes. I mean, so do you think we need the yarder, or are we just gonna try to go without it? Because that was a hundred thousand bucks. I mean, we could, you know, recover some money if we're not gonna use it. Well, no, we we can use it. It's okay. just that uh, we use it from the bottom like so we clear cut that lower area or we can even start at the road down here yeah and that way we don't have to drive up this hill to get things we can just pull everything down the mountain to us yeah true it. i think you have to pull up the yarders work uphill i've seen them go all the directions i've been watching oh. the videos and like someone will just set this thing just kind of somewhere and it might be like okay kind of almost right where it is right now and so they'll bring things up the hill and down the hill to this location huh i so then i wonder i wonder if it um if the other one because when i tried to use the tractor one um that one said specifically it, ha it has to be used uphill but i don't know I, about this one because i haven't tried this one in a downhill position Run a cable from it right now and see if you can connect to a tree up on top of the waterfall. That's going to be a long, very long road walk. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like 890 meters, I think, is the length, or like 900 meters is the length. So you got plenty of a distance. That's what, almost a mile, right? Or half a mile. Yeah, there it goes. Connects to that thing. Okay, so it didn't give you a message? I mean, the group, I haven't connected it, but it, it shows me a green. Yeah, connect uh, it up. Let's see if it'll do it. Yeah, it did it. So it must be that the the tractor-based yarder has to work uphill, but this one can go either direction, which is why it has that pull. That's awesome. So you're right. We can use it anywhere. That's awesome. So that was definitely worth it. Uh, I guess you have to disconnect it from your end. Yes. You know, it'd be kind of neat is if you could put a basket on it. <laughs> and then ride it up. Yeah. We need That'd to be get awesome. When you, when you need to get back to the, uh, to the work, you know, to the work site when you come back into the game. Right. And just ride a little basket up there. 
All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna park this here, and we're gonna make our parking lot a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna grab construction. What do you think this is? This is some kind of like I'm trying to figure out what the material is that they used here. Painting. Is this the same? Yeah. And we're gonna make this circle. You get to change your your brush size to like as big as it can possibly be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go. And it is getting rid of the bushes too. That's good. That's what I wanted to see if it would debush the area. That's how most people like do brush clearing is they pick the texture pack that's already here on the forest floor and they just repaint the forest floor and it makes all the bushes go away. Yeah, I mean, uh, we could do that. I don't really want to do that, though, but because it's kind of I feel like we should use the tools they've given us to, to do that because that's kind of part of logging, you know, but I know what you're saying. Like, I, it does definitely it's definitely easier to do it that way. What we need is some kind of mulcher for the tractor going forward. Well, we need a bigger tractor to have a mulcher. Are they are they are the forestry mulchers huge? Well, they they're they require 150. Is okay, yeah, the this is a, one. Yeah, that's 100. My our tractor is only 140, so let's see here. I'm going to look. I haven't really looked into them too much. 150. Um, yep. The forestry mulcher is one fifty for the skid steer. Oh no! Okay, so it's just the stump grinder. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> so, so they gave us a tractor we can't use. Got it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, we can use it for some things, but not for what what we were hoping for. Drop it, good boy. Drop it. So, do you want to run the cutter tonight? Uh, uh, really? You're gonna do that to me? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can. <laughs> and then I will, and then I'll yard them back. So if you want to just cut them and drop them where they're at, I'll yard them. Uh, let's see. Oh. So just clearing out this area over here where we've been cutting. That's what Hold that's what, that's what our goal is. Not only do I have to wait for the, uh, there we go. Let's see here. There we go. I had to wait for my controller to wake up. Wake up. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up. Ah, uh, the fifties. Uh, make sure there's six, six meters is what we're cutting to. Yeah, that was an update they had to make. That What's that? It had it had to make sure that uh, your settings on your equipment persevered through sa through saves. Oh, oh! I didn't even so it it kept the say it kept it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, see, because it used to not. So I didn't realize I didn't realize that it kept those. That's really great. So cool. I'm having a hard time finding trees I can grab onto with this thing. <laughs> Are they too big? Yeah, I keep finding big ones. You should connect uh, uh, that yarder to this humongous uh, <laughs> sequoia over here. Hey, do if you can, Kyle. If you find one that's too big, can you mark it with an X? Uh, so that we can, we know we can come back later with something bigger to cut it, or we can do them by hand. Oh, do I have a? I don't. I don't. If have you paint. don't, just buy one from the shop. Let's do pink. Pink works. It shows up well. That's the that's the idea, right? All right. So. What are you buying? I'm just kidding. Who told you you could buy a hundred dollars worth of stuff? I'm gonna put this slash with the exclamation over it. Okay. He's so big. I can't believe I can't run with a can of paint. It's too heavy. Well, that one's too big too, huh? Jeez. That one's too big. I haven't checked any of those. 
right. Uh, I know exactly how to mark this big bill tree over here. Put that circle on it. Should I cut these by hand? Well, then we can't do anything with them. We should just leave them there until we have a machine that can cut them to pieces for us. Okay, we don't want to do it with the chainsaw. Yeah. But I marked one further in. Uh, okay. That big, tall, uh, whatever it is. This with the O? And, yeah. Let that be our anchor for the... For the... Uh, the yard going the, the other way? Yeah. When we're cutting on the hillside? Okay. Well, we can also just anchor to that one right now. That way. I've already got it. We're good. I've already got okay. an anchor. It's all set up and ready. Well, what tree is it anchored to here? That one. This one way back here. The deadfall. Okay. Let's mark that thing. That way I don't drive up to it and cut it down. <laughs> All right. it, like you did, you gave such very little effort spraying it. It was like <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you were aiming down to the ground, like you didn't even bother lifting the can. Like, all right, that's one of these. There it is. These are whittle trees. We really got a lot of them. There's not a whole lot left up here. Over to the right, there is though, kind of where I more where I put the yarder. Oh, look at that little piece of trash. This is going to be, let's see, that button. Nope. It should be R. I'm using a controller. <laughs> oh. I know. Oh, no. I use a control. I use. I'm using the controller to drive here, but then when I when I get out, I go back to keyboard and mouse. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of yarding right through the. Uh, I drop the. Oh no, there it is. I'm yarding right through our house. Maybe I should move it over. <laughs> Oops. Uh. I'm going to have to move the yarder. Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to physically move the yarder. We'll go back to that tree, but I'm going to scoot the yarder over to the right. Well, I think maybe if you just connected it to that one I already marked, it should be enough. You think? I mean, but see, might, we're going to be going over to the right, I'm hoping. But we can move it again if we need to, I guess. did I hit? Oh, I'm on top of a stump. Well, that's one good thing about this one with the tracks, is it just kind of like effortlessly climbs over the stumps. True. Oh, is there a stump that I missed? Uh, it's one of the trees I just cut. I'm just kind of charging straight in. Alright, let's pop that thing up. Cut. There we go. Lift a little and cut. You got to lift a little. Cut a uh -oh. little. Uh-oh. That, that seems huge. Oops. I changed it. That's why. <laughs> Six. All right. Can you reprocess it? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I hate doing that because it always cuts off like a little chunk of it. Like a piece, um, like a little piece. here. Tilt harvester head is this one. One of these buttons. I wonder if I can even do it in this direction. I don't even know if I'm over the tree I want. Oops. I love the yarder. Go a little bit further to the right. 
because it'll pull it back to the start. Like if you go, uh, your other right. Yep, yeah, and now to... now try to cut it. Uh, push it out a little bit and rotate it um, to rotate it to the left. Yep, you were just doing it. Yep, and now lower it. And now hold like press the cut button. See if it'll do it. I think you have to pull out that little one. Let me get it. I think it's in the way. Oh, it's about to get exciting. Ah! <laughs> oh, farm sim, when will you learn? I mean, considering what they're trying to do with the game and the engine, like this is amazing. I know, I've had some people complaining about it on the stream, and I'm like, I don't know. I feel like out of all the games that I've played um, that have, like, physics in them, this like, logging stuff, this one's definitely the easiest out of all of them. It's still a frustrating experience at times, but... I think I can get it. Do you want me to try it? Because I've been doing the processor with the other one, and it's similar. Oh, there you go. Now try it. It should, if you do cut, yeah, there you go. And it actually all b backs up to the head too, which is cool. All right. Back to six, so we're gonna have a little two little, a little A little nub. Chunk. Yeah, the chunk. I'll take care of the uh, chunk, don't worry, I'll get it out of there. That's a nice piece right there. Oh, Harvester, that one. There we go. Cut them all. I gotta turn it back around so it's pre-aligned. All right, there we go. <laughs> I got wood. And that wood's about to catch some air. While he's doing that, I'll straighten up the yard a little bit. <laughs> nope. Oh, where did my... There it is. I wonder if that yarder can just grab these crap trees and just yank them out of the way for us. I, it might be able to. Did you cut one down? Uh, I cut down two of them. Okay, I'll try to pull them out. Come on. Almost. Oop, there you go. Got it. Uh, might be able to get to this one. Yep, almost. I'll tell you what, I'm really happy with this new Holland. Oh, the skid steer? Yeah, it picks up six foot logs all day. I thought, or six meter logs. I thought it was going to have trouble picking them up. Because it's such a light, a, such a light little thing, but it actually picks them up really well. Well, it's kind of like the the point of lift and the counterweight. Like there, your point of lift is directly against the machine, and the counter lift is, you know, further back, and so it can pick up that stuff just fine. It's when you try to pick them up with like a tractor. That's the arm is a mile and a half out the out the front of the tractor. <laughs> right. Can I yard this? It does not look like I can. Oh, nope, I can. Yay. Does this clear easily? No, of course not. No. <laughs> That's why I hate those trees. That's why I shoved the entire thing into a container. Oops. So what do you want me to do with it? Put it in the container. I guess maybe for now, just maybe just make a pile of these things off to the side, okay. and we can just deal with it later. Once we have uh, extra containers and ways to move them. Okay.
I also like that I can just press and hold the cut button instead of having to cycle it every time. Yes. Yep. They've really improved it a lot from the last... Like, I was playing around on 17 just for fun because I have it on my Switch, and I was doing some logging, and I'm like, man, the logging is just like... Now I'm spoiled. It's a shame that, like, some of these features, like the... Uh, uh, the pre-alignment thing isn't just a native part of the game. Like, they didn't just add that to the base game. Yeah, I'm game. surprised. When you said that, that surprised me that they didn't add it. Like, or maybe it was one of the one of my other viewers that was like, why is that not part of the game? Because it would make sense, like, that everybody could do it. It shouldn't be just with the DLC, but they're, they're doing that now. It's like, it's kind of interesting. Maybe good, bad, but like the same thing with the Kubota. Like, you can't ride together in a vehicle unless you have the Kubota pack. Yeah, that really should have been native. Right. I agree. Stop wiggling. There we go. I wish we could just burn these trees. Oh, that'd be so cool if they added, like, a furnace. <laughs> to shove trees into it and get money. You're right. I mean, I guess the wood chipper is kind of that, but I don't think you could even get these trees in it. It wouldn't take them. Yeah. It eat, it eat, it would eat like the first foot and a half until the branches got in the way and stopped it from going in. Right. <laughs> Everybody keeps bringing up the old gents uh, wood chipper for, that had the side load arm. Remember that thing? Oh yeah. That was such a frustrating experience. Like, and thankfully for seventeen, they uh, they they did the other one too that was much larger, and you could just throw the logs in there and it would chip them. But that, that gents one with the side loader arm, that what a nightmare that thing was. Fine then, I'm not gonna cut you. Jeez. Is it what's the problem? Show him who's boss, Kyle, come on. This tree just doesn't want to cut, so I'm not gonna play that game. I'll go find another tree. I wonder if it's not on our property or something. Should be. We own the little chunk of land that's up there. So. Might have to use the yarder <laughs> to get it back a little further. Oh, hey, surprise log. Sorry. I haven't gotten that far yet. Try to... Oh, yeah, those are fine. The ones... I don't know if I can reach those other ones, though. Where'd the surprise log go? It's right next to my tracks. Okay. I'm right next to you on the other side. Yeah, I see you. I'll try to get it yarded. Oh, this is going to be fun. I got it out. Oh, whew. Well, I thought, like, its position was just going to rip right through the Komatsu and, like, send me flying <laughs> because of bad collisions. It does that sometimes. All right. I gotta get rid of this tree or this whatever it is. Let go. I don't know if I can read. I might have to reposition to grab those. Those ones should be in. They're in line. I just don't know. I, they probably will work. I'm just wondering if they're uh, too oh, too far for the, the yarder. Ones that are way out. Yeah, these oh. are fine. Well, did you keep that uh that little winch thing, or did you sell that? I sold it. Oh. I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm I do regret that for sure. All right. Whoa, that's. 
that got a little iffy. I should actually probably drag this thing a little closer, too, because... I just have to keep walking over here, since we're pulling them all right to here. It's fun when you start getting your process set up, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh yeah, do this, move that there. But with the yarder, I, you know, it's like, before I was cutting things and kind of depositing them wherever. Now, it's like with the yarder, they all come back to the exact same location, so it's kind of, it's nice. I got so lazy, uh, I didn't buy a yarder. What I would do is I'd cut the tree and dr drive backwards back like to drag the it, dirt. Like drag it back to the container. I know a lot of people are doing that. I'm trying to do it a little bit more realistically, but, I mean, they did put auto load in, so, I mean, they must have wanted it, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it would be a nightmare having to manually load. Oh, yeah, those those uh, tippers or whatever. Yeah, it'd be a disaster. Let's see if I can get the carriage to follow me to here. I'll see if I, as I cut the trees, I'll just back them up towards the cable. Yeah, these are too far. I'm not getting the, the symbol for them. That's all right. I can grab. I can grab them with the uh, the front loader too. It's not a huge deal. That is not at all what I wanted to do. But okay. Oh, the street's a lot taller than I thought. Some of them are. Some of them are. You thought wrong. He chose poorly. Come on. Oh, get it on there. Come on. Yeah, just pick pick some and send them. I've got one pick, but it keeps moving. Okay, we'll do this one then. Be that way. That thing's an anchor. Stop it! <gasps> Sometimes it just <laughs> grabs the wrong things and... There we go. This thing's junk. There's a lot of people that just give the scrap wood to the sawmill and then sell the the rest of the wood. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that idea or not. Um, there's this. Let's see. Tell you what, though. Once you start yarding, it gets it. You can do stuff so you can move stuff in so quickly. You know. You need a stick. Yep. Come to me. Just to me. Actually, it's trust in me, isn't it? Close your eyes. And trust in me. Can you name that movie, Kyle? Nope. Ah, oh, the Jungle Book. Oh. You had to have seen that as a kid. I probably did. I just don't remember it. How, wait, how old are you? 34. Uh, I mean, it's on that edge. It's a 70s I mean, I would have seen so. it. I would have seen it as like, you know, an eight year old. So, yeah, <laughs> yep. That's one of those movies that I watched over and over and over and over. Mm. 
Bring it. Well, that it just like the little just poops out that little <laughs> section. <laughs> but I'm glad it does. I'll just grab this. I give you pretty good money. Nope. I don't think I can cut this. What? You can cut this one? All right. <laughs> I mean, do it. Oh, oh man, it almost dragged me down the mountain. <laughs> and after that one, if you want to pause and maybe we'll we'll do some loading onto the containers, see how full we get. All right, because I gotta, I need to um, clear up some stuff. We can do some stump cutting and stuff. We're moving at a phenomenal rate. Oh. This yarder is amazing. The amount of weight that it can pull. Alright, let me get this thing to where it's not in the way of a tree or a stump. Alright. Well, I guess I should turn it off. <laughs> Sorry. I use the, uh, what, do you, what, what do you call it? The uh, always on or whatever it's called. Oh, well, yeah, the engine settings. Yep. There we go. Now I can hear the game. Before it was just all me. This. Do you think we should? Uh, let's see. Bring it on back. Oops. You cutting those little ones up? Ah. Uh. <laughs> what did you do? It. Oh, that thing is too close. What's the matter? <laughs> well, I was trying to pick up a piece of wood, but it kept trying to uh, connect the the chain from the from the yarder. Oh, it wouldn't let it wouldn't let me just pick up the wood. It wanted me to connect the chain to it. Oh, I forgot to grab the yarder rope. Duh. There we go. That here. I'm gonna get these last couple of pieces. Just so that's neat. I'm glad this. That's pretty cool that this yarder can go uphill and downhill. Was this tree one of the two bigs? Oh yeah. We figured out last night how to use the impacts too. That thing's kind of a pain, but it is usable. Um. Just gonna mark that one with this. So it wouldn't cut, huh? Yeah, the machine just couldn't grab it. Weird. You know what? I'm going to change these ones that are too big for a machine for that. And I'm going to let any tree that's a confusing nonsense is going to get the slash exclamation. The slash exclamation. Well, as far as episodes go, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We definitely had fun making it. And uh, we are going to continue on into the next episode here. But in the meantime, we're going to get some more logging done. So I will see you. Uh oh, I forgot to unload those logs. Oops. Um, I'll, we'll see you guys in, <laughs> in, the, in the next exciting episode. You want to say bye, Kyle? Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. <laughs>